Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of The Breakfast Boy. I am The Breakfast Boy. And today, we are going to be reviewing some Dunkin' Donuts. Um, now I'm sure some of you are already looking at the title of the video and thinking, well, here we go, The Breakfast Boy has sold out. Um, you know, he's gonna be rolling in that Dunkin' Donuts sponsorship money. Um, and I can assure you that I am still very poor, so no need to worry about that. Um, I just, you know, I've been talking with my friends a lot about, like, fast food tier lists and, um, you know, where certain fast food restaurants lay in um, terms of, like, quality, ranking them, you know. Um, and I've always been an advocate for Dunkin' Donuts, um... And I think that people really don't understand just how much there is to their menu besides just their donuts. Um, and another point I want to bring up is normally I would not review something that I already knew I liked. Just because I feel like that kind of uh, defeats the purpose of an honest review. But I... You know, I just wanted to make this video real quick. And actually, I have made a Dunkin' Donuts video for Fat Guy Does Things for the Breakfast Boy series. Um, it's a lost video right now, which means I couldn't upload it on my iPhone. And um, now I have a new phone. I'm going to have to charge the old one, figure out how to email it to myself, and all that good stuff. So eventually that holy grail will be put out, but... Let's just get right into the meal I have for you today. We are going to be sampling their big and toasted uh, Texas toast sandwich. It's bacon, egg, and cheese on a Texas toast bread. Um, it's obviously very big and very toasted. And on the side, we are going to be having some hash browns. Um, you can see it's just a small little bag like this. There's usually only five or six of these in here. Um, let's start with the hash browns first, actually. These, I think, is one of their biggest strengths. I'm going to hold this up. I don't know if you can see a little bit of seasoning it has, but these aren't your ordinary breakfast hash browns from a fast food restaurant. You know, McDonald's, they do the big, um, like, oval of potato, and that's fine. And, um, Burger King, I can't even remember what their hash browns are like, but, you know, they're, they're just kind of potatoes. Um, and these have a little more, uh, kick to them, in my opinion, so. And, I mean, I have a very bland palate. I don't really handle spices very well, so. As far as I know, this may just be, like, a regular hash brown, but I'm gonna go ahead and, um, tell you what I think of it as I taste it for a while. I haven't had this in a few months, so. Yeah, see, there's a certain seasoning to it, a certain flavor that you don't really get from ordinary breakfast hash browns. It's really hard to describe. Um... I can see why they do so few of them. Maybe it takes longer to make. Maybe they just don't get as many because they're not mass produced. I don't know, but... And it's going to sound silly, but there's really something kind of special about these hash browns. Um, this, to me, is, like, honestly one of their biggest strengths. So now we're going to go ahead and try the uh, Big and Toasted Sandwich. I can see this one's already running longer than most, so... I'm just going to go ahead and uh, dig into it, give you some thoughts, and wrap it up. Um, first of all, you can see, here's the sandwich. The cheese always looks really melty. That probably puts people off. But um, you can see, like, this is, well, okay, directions, directions. This is some good Texas toast here. Um, this one feels a little softer than most. But I kind of like that. It really complements the crunch that you get from the bacon and the egg and cheese. Just, I'm gonna shut up and eat now. <laughs> oh, 
all of it mixes really well together. Um, you know, it's it's almost like eating a whole breakfast with this and the hash browns. Um, and it's, you know, relatively cheap, too. I think the sandwich is, like, four ninety nine, something like that. Probably a little more. The hash browns are only $0.99. Cents. Um, I'm going to have another bite. really good um so i just wanted to wrap this up i really enjoy dunkin donuts breakfast um yeah ever since the new one opens not too far from my house i've been going there somewhat regularly the shirt man i don't get it um and um it's it's really a great way to just pick up you know a relatively cheap breakfast on the go um and I, I usually get like a donut as well um and get, don't get me wrong their donuts are very good i hope i can get that video figured out but you know if there's a dunkin donuts near you i would definitely recommend seeing what else they have i mean their menu is a lot deeper than you would think so go ahead and check it out um also while i have you i want to apologize for the last video i was re-watching it which i don't usually do believe it or not, but I noticed that I was eating with my mouth open a lot, which is very rude and very gross, so I tried to work on it this time. It probably didn't work out all that well, but just know that I'm going to be more aware of that. No one even brought it up. It's just something that I noticed that really bugged me personally, so... I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. It's already reaching seven minutes. So thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'm glad to do another video. Just get another one out here. Um, I just want to keep a consistent schedule. And I'm looking to try more things besides Breakfast Boy. Um, unflattering Angle's probably done. I didn't really like how it turned out. So we'll be trying other stuff. So in the meantime, take care.